Hello and welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy. You're joining me today for a fantastic 30 minute band workout. You will need a looped medium strength resistance band and lots and lots of energy as we work through the whole body, but with our focus today particularly on the back body. So toning glutes, turning back, shoulders, getting every little corner nice and toned for you. You will need a mat on the floor, a nice sturdy chair or a steady surface nearby and grab some water as well as a sweat towel. Now, as always, I'm gonna be layering in those modifications and the advancements work with your body. Some of these are challenging positions, they might even be new to you. So if that's the case, take a break, jump back in. Together we're going to get stronger silver liners. So let's go ahead and come to the center of the space. Check you can see me now when you're standing, kneeling and lying down. We're going to loop the band between our palms right behind us and then go ahead and take a nice wide stance. Toes are pointing forward. There's a micro bend at your knees. Press the arms wide, open your chest, give yourself a gorgeous little smile to the sky and then bend the knees a little more. Float the arms up and overhead. Let the head go heavy. Let the arms float over towards the mat in front of you. We're going to do that two more times, just easing into the shoulders and back body, getting a fabulous stretch for the hamstrings, gorgeous opening for the shoulder girdle. Both of those guys are going to be working hard in the next 30 minutes. Good. Open the chest one more time for me and forward fold, finding length. Maybe take a little move side to side here, make it your own, do what feels good. Breathe and then come on up. Swing the band in front of you. You're going to bring the palms into the band and send them outwards. So the palms are facing outwards. And again, nice wide stance into our skater with a difference. Drop the shoulders, reach the arms to the sky. We head over to the right, sweep to the right, come back center, press the legs tall. We go over to the left, sweep arms to the left. And I've got a tension on the band. So palms are pressing outwards, down and over to the right, sweep it right. And this is lovely spinal movement to get you warmed up. Down to the left, sweep it, come center, hold it there. We're going to start to move side, sweep, side, and other one. Good. So it's kind of moving now smoothly between the two. In a moment, we're taking out the side sweep. Can you go side to side? Two pulses there, two pulses there. Finding that knee, making sure it's over the middle of your toes. So always taking care of your knee alignment. Good, let's move single counts, guys. Push and push. I love how this starts to really elongate through the outside of the leg, getting an inner thigh stretch. I've got a lot of heat through the shoulders just with that static hold. You've got eight, six, Thigh tabs, four, three, two, on one, stand up tall and release your band. Step to the back of your mat, loop the band onto the arches of your feet and then make sure you've got tension so they're going to be a little wider than your hips, socket width apart. Roll on down, walk the hands out and everybody's going to find a forearm plank. So the hands form a number 11, forearms are down, elbows are directly beneath shoulders, legs are strong and you have tension on your band. Right away, you're gonna feel a lot of work. This is a great way to get warmed up. From here, we're gonna dip between the shoulders and push. Now, this is called a serratus dip. If you've never done it before, the goal is to keep everything still except that space between your shoulder girdle. Yes, so dipping and lengthening. This is gonna make your planks, your press-ups, and your posture so much better. You've got four, three, it's a classic, Pilates exercise I'm weaving in today. Now hold it there, bring your right leg up, hold it. Micro bend and press, good. Now if you need to modify, you can always lower the left knee to the floor, maintaining strong abdominals. You've got this five, four, three, two. Set the toe back down, back to your serratus. Dip, press, dip, press. Getting heat through the shoulders for sure. Are your abs scooping in and up? For five, four, three, to hold it, left leg extends this time. We go bend press, bend press, getting that little hamstring, glute activating. Five more here, that's five, four, three, two. On one, set the toe down. See if you can walk up to a full plank without too much disruption. Now from here, we're gonna push back to a down dog. 
kick the right leg, place it down, press forward to our plank. Other side, push on back, left leg kicks, slightly out on a diagonal to maintain the res resistance on the band. Kick out with the right, place it down, rock forward, shoulders over wrists. Back we go, kick. We're gonna try this on the beat if that feels available. In three, two, one. Back, kick, lower, plank. Exhale, use your breath. When things start to get challenging, it will serve you well. Two more. Last set right here. Push, kick, lower, forward. Last one. Maintain your down dog for a minute. Just bend your knees as much as you need. Walk your hands towards your feet. Let the head hang heavy like a little rag doll. Maybe shake it a little and then roll on up. Feeling the whole back body, feeling each little vertebra stacking one on top of the other until you're standing as tall as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, that was your warm up. Grab your band. We are getting into some intense thigh work, but because this is a back body focused session, you're going to also be feeling your glutes and those triceps. So we're hitting it all. Let's bring the band above the fleshy part above the knees, okay? So right into the middle of the thighs. As you see, I've moved my chair to the end of my mat just so that it's secured. And then walk back until your arms are fully extended. Set your feet a little wider than hip socket width apart. I'll show you that from the front. And then we slice down into a deep squat. So ski slope spine. If you can, start to lift 10 toes off the floor. We drop and hold. Now this is an intense position. Right away, you're engaging your glutes as well as the thighs. Remember your quads are your biggest muscle group, therefore your biggest calorie burner. However, today we're also trying to hit the glutes and we've got that core active to support the back body. Could you now press down into the palm of your hand onto your surface or your chair? Notice what happened. Did your shoulders, your latissimus dorsi, did they engage? Good, you've got it. Four more, four drop, three drop, good job. Two, now stay low, right heel lifts, up and down. As you do this move, stay low. Keep tension on the band, yes. Could you send your left arm behind you? Imagine you had a heavy weight, or if you wish to grab a weight, you can. It takes a lift as the heel rises and lowers. So whilst we don't have a weight, I do want you to think of an active tricep lift. Four, how are we doing with that burn? Three, I've got a little shake on that right heel, two. Good, now hold it there. Knee goes out, center. So I'll show you that from the front. Right knee opens, come center. Sit deeper, team. Oh, yes. And what it gets is that outer glue, outer thigh. Starting to work. You've still got that left arm extended and that could take a little lift and lower right there. Five, four, three to the change. Two, now on one, sweep that left hand back, take a grip on your surface. You're gonna shoot right leg back, find a lunge, then send it back and find your squat. Lunge, squat. You might need to adjust the distance between you and your surface, but we're moving fluidly between the parallel squat and a parallel lunge. Could you take it a little faster? Back, out. So this is your cardio. I always like to sneak in some cardio because we've got to keep that heart muscle healthy as well as everything else in the body. Oh my goodness, that left glute and thigh are starting to burn out. Four to the lunge. Three, you got this team. Two, now we stay in our lunge and we hold. Shuffle a little closer if you need to. Knee's going to travel down to the floor. Down, 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 little lift. Down, 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 little lift. Good. So this slicing action is made more challenging by the band. And one thing I should mention, if you need to re release the band completely, you can absolutely do that. Arms go lift, 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 little lower. Lift, lift, lift. This is gonna get intense in a moment. We have our repeater. Again, a little cardio. Hold at the bottom, find your stillness. Knee wraps, open, open. So that same wrapping action, but the leg is now behind you in that lunge. Make sure you're staying parallel. Eight, repeater in six. Knees gonna drive in, elbows by your side, or go ahead and hold the chair. It goes pull, 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 pull. This is your finale, move the side. Give it all you've got, team. Pull, pull, yes, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two. Leave the chair where it is. Slide the band down to the ankles. Let's find a press up before we head to our second side. So arms are wide, legs are long if you're not modifying today. If you need to modify, knees come down to the floor. We go lower, lift, right leg kicks high. We go lower, lift, left leg kicks high. The goal is to get chest towards mat and use the breath, activating the whole back body. Oh yes, my friends, four, press. Now if you're modified, just remove the kick. Just take some plain press ups. It's all good. We are all gonna get stronger together. Last two, make them strongest. Down, up, push, good. Last one, everybody meets in a full plank. Can you now lower to your challenge point? Hover there, tiny pushes in the arms. Think back body, back body. Little V of muscle right between the shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, go team. Four, three, two, and one. Brief child pose. Ooh, breathe it out. And then roll on up to standing. Because guess what? There's a whole other leg. So I'm gonna move my chair just so you guys have all the visuals. Stay right where you are. And walk on back again. Slightly wider than hips, parallel stance in that beautiful inclined chair. Ski slope spine, drop hold. Remember, 10 toes could be lifting off. I've got a light pressure down into the heel of the hand, which is on my chair. Use that at home to pull whoa, these guys, the latissimus dorsi, into activity. Same time, abs are lifting, supporting the back. Four more. Three, right away you're back in that burn, yeah? Two, last one, hold in stillness, left heel lifts up and down. Now option to sweep the right hand behind you, add a little lift and lower, activating with long, strong arm, so we get a little tricep work. Up, down, five, four, three, stay low, yes, two. Now on one, we hold it there, knee rotates, open, parallel. Could you sit a little deeper in your imaginary throne? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take eight more, adding a lift in the right palm. Yes, beautiful reach, good. Four more, then we're in that little move between the lunge and the squat. It's gonna get intense. Yes, my friends. In three, two, one, we go step to the lunge, step wide squat. So there's that incline lunge, incline squat. Do two more sets slowly, trying to keep that bend in the right knee, trying to maintain breath. Let's take it on the beat, here we go. Back, wide. And if you need to adjust that alignment, meaning how far you are away from your chair, now is the time, four, good, three. I feel that heart rate rising, two, woo. Last one, hold. Now find your lunge, that might mean a little adjustment. Stay in the inclined spine. We lower, lower, lower little lift. So that three little beats, deeper, deeper, deepest. Watch the front knee. It is not going over the toes. It's staying along a glass wall. Yes, maybe layer in the arms. Lift, 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 little tap. Lift, lift, lift. I feel that right glute screaming, as well as my thighs. I hope you feel that at home. Good, four more than a hold. Four, are you breathing? Three, good job. Two, now on one, hold it. Little wrap back, wrap back. It's an outer thigh, outer glute going on. Could you think one inch lower? Yes, four. Remember that repeater is in your future. Arms can stay long or use the chair for support. It goes pull, reach, pull, reach. This is the finale. Give it 100%. It's a short workout. You know you can, eight, six, pull the elbows, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Done, take a sip of water if you need it. You'll notice I haven't moved my band because you don't need to. So let's go ahead and come all the way down to the mat as elegantly as possible. For our second set, we're moving our attention now really into the back of the glutes. So roll on back, check the feet are hip sockets width apart. You should be able to lightly touch them with your fingertips unless you have bad knees, in which case jump them a bit further away. We're gonna take a little combo to start. Lift the hips, open the knees, bring them back lower. Now a couple of things about back dancing for seat. It is not a shoulder bridge. So you are only going as high as your lowest rib with a deep curl in the pelvis. So it's a scoop and curl, wrap open, come back and down. So let's refine that now. 
where that positioning is. You should be one fist off the floor with that seat, no higher. You can use the arms to support you or reach them to the sky for the full set. For my warriors, good. This time, we stay up there and we just start to pulse up and up. So we're getting a really tight squeeze through those glutes. Now load the left foot, bring the right knee to tabletop. Oh, and it's gonna start to get real on that right glute pretty quickly. Take a moment to just shrug the collarbones wide. Release your face, give me a smile. Let's take four more. Four, I've got a shake on. Three, make sure those hips are even. Two, now on last one, hold it there. We lengthen the leg, we bring it in. We lengthen the leg, so static hold, stillness through that right heel and leg. You've got two more, good. Leg is gonna stay as long as you can. Last one here, so it might be three quarters, it might be fully extended. Three little beats, we go up, 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 up. Don't even think about the down. I only want a tighter squeeze. Deeper, deeper, deepest. Scoop those abs, breathe, my friends. It's getting intense on purpose. Four, three, two. Now hold it at the top. Can you dial the leg out? towards the right side, and then bring it back. Ooh, this is where this gets challenging. So we go out for two, in for two. It's all about that control from the pelvis and core, and of course that left glute is firing. Whew. Oh, your collarbone's wide. Are you still smiling? You probably hate me right now. <laughs> but you will love me tomorrow when your glutes are beautifully lifted. Uh-huh. Now for the challenge, the leg will stay wide. If you're new to class, Keep it back in the center. Option one arm or both to the sky. Little pulse, little pulse. This is your finale move. You've got this 10, nine, eight, and seven. Gorgeous, six, five, whoa, four, three, two, and hug the knees briefly into your chest. Oh, Well-deserved rest. Let's go ahead and rock onto our side. So, favorite setup. You're gonna bring the band underneath, that's underneath your right knee. Keep it where it is on the left leg. Come onto your right forearm and move your hip and your elbow towards the back edge of your mat. Now, this leg is 90 degrees in front of you. You're gonna flex the left foot and press the leg back until it's right in line with your hip. So send your arm out and check it's all aligned. Knee and hip are aligned. Heel presses, back and hold, back and hold. So what are we doing? We're basically doing what we were doing on our backs, on our sides. I want a beautiful lift through that underneath side of the waistline. Option to support yourself more if you're newer to class by placing left fingertips to the floor. If you want a little more feedback and you feel supported, hand on hip. Good job. Combo coming up, team. Four more pulses, four, squeeze. Three, maybe I could kick that chair, huh? Two, now on one, hold it. Here's your combo. Knee taps down, comes back parallel. We press once. We press twice. Let's do that again. Rotate lower, lift parallel, pulse on once, abs stay strong. We go. Tap, lift, push, push. It's subtle, that internal rotation is there though. You're gonna get inner outer thigh, push, push. Four more. If it's shaking, that's good news. Three, push, push. We've got two then you'll know that we're gonna finally extend that leg. Oh, my goodness. Now, from here, point the toe that's behind you. That should be the left leg. We go extend for two. Now, if your lower back is sensitive, just extend in line with your hip. That's a good alternative. If you're with me, you're trying to aim towards the back corner of your studio. Good. Now, if you can, creep the left arm forward. Little pressure onto the left fingertips. Two more extensions, team. Press and press. Bend on in. Now this last time, keep the leg long. The tap goes down, up, maybe with the arm as well. So tap, lift. My gaze is along the middle finger. Abs are tightly squeezing. Toes are reaching away, fingertips reaching away in opposition. Gorgeous resistance of that band. Good. Four more here. We pulse in four. Squeeze, three, squeeze, two. Yes, now last one, hold it. Little pulses, up. Up, that glute should be screaming. Yes, eight, six. We're gonna drive that knee in five, four, three, two. It goes full in, 
press long on the beat. Pull. So we get a little ab work as well, why not? But what we're really doing here is driving through that seat, getting the back body working with that twist through the upper torso. Four, three, add the breath. Two, yes team. Last one, hold and reach. Four, three, two, one, rest. Give it a tap, a little tap of love, and then go ahead and bring that band over both thighs again. We're gonna sweep the hands behind us. If you have sensitive wrists, be my guest and make a little fist the right there. Heels are down, feet are down rather parallel, hip sockets width apart, lift the hips up. Find that driving beat, down, up, elbows bend, triceps are working, chest is open. If you want more, we add a march. In, in, and in. So again, raising the heart rate a little, getting that chest open, getting your back body fizzing. That's our goal. You've got it, team. Let's take four more. Four, three, two, and one. Settle on down, give those wrists a little love. Guess what, we have a second side. If you need a sip of water, now is a great time. Go ahead and reset to the center of your mat. Roll down, taking the feet to hip sockets width apart. That little combo gets us started. So it looks like this. We lift, wrap the knees, back to parallel and lower. All really sinuous, snake-like lifting and peeling, getting that gorgeous abdominal lift that will support the glutes. It's all about having even musculature, even strength, front and back body. And usually we ignore the back body because we can't see it in the mirror. <laughs> but if you are wearing a backless dress or you are wearing some I don't know, some swimwear. It's important, just from an aesthetic perspective, from a postural perspective, so key. This is gonna help lower back pain. Last one, hold it in the center. Little lift, little lift. Now start to load the right foot, bring the left knee up to tabletop, softly pointed toe, tension on your band. Now is where we get into the juicy bit. Check your hips are even by popping your head up. Notice I'm putting fingertips on hip bones, that helps me Find that little equilibrium, yes. Imagine you had your morning cappuccino right there. Good, four more. Oh, it's shaking. Three, easy shoulders and breath. Holding still in three, two, one. We go leg extends, leg bends. Now you're probably getting a little hamstring stretch right there, which is an added bonus. We love an exercise that works hard for you here at Silver Linings. Remember, we're staying long in three. So as long as you can today, that might be three quarters, it might be a beautiful long leg. We're working to that goal. Hold it there. In three, two, one, we pulse it up, up, up. Deeper, deeper, deepest. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Oh my goodness me, whoo, breathe. It's tough, right? If you want more, those arms go to the sky. Anytime you're ready. Four, yes friends, three. You can, it's two. Now we hold it there. Our leg goes out to the left back to the center. How far you say, only as far as you can maintain square hips and control. If you find yourself rolling to the side, you've definitely gone too far. Some of you, it may only be an inch. That's okay, four. Give yourself permission to come back to this workout and increase your strength and stamina every time. Last two. Good, now we stay out on the diagonal if you are ready. Little pulses up and up. This is your finale right here. It burns so good. Eight pulse, seven, yes, breathe it out. Four, three, two, and hug the knees. Nicely done. Rocking onto your left side. So the band is gonna come down underneath the left knee joint. That leg comes forward to a 90 degree angle. You're on your left forearm, and then go ahead and press the leg back. Flex the foot, check the leg is in line with hip. Rock the top hip forward so it is stacked. Push back, hold. So, this lovely Isle of Man position. I always think it's like the flag of the Isle of Man. It's kind of a modified uh, pretzel position, but why it's powerful is you've got that resistance through the band, and then you're rocking that hip forward. We have a combo coming in three, two, one. We go tap it down, bring it up, pulse back once, pulse back twice. Good job. So it's a rotation and tap, feels awkward, but so good for your range of motion and your strength. Often we are weak through the hips and glutes and that will impact your lower back. So this is the way to get strong. One more slow, Whoa, rotate it, press back once, 
Should we take it on the beat? Let's go, we go. Tap, up, push, push. Now my tendency will be to let the ribs float forward. Can you draw them in? Yes, down, exhale. Now push that underneath side away from the floor like you have a little balloon. Don't pop it. Uh-huh, you've got this. Four, breathe, three, Everything should be shaking. I am shaking at home. I hope you're shaking at home. Last one there. Then we've got that extension in three, two, one. Point the toe, reach it out. I'm gonna try and hit my bottle. Maybe that right fingertips could spread forward on a diagonal. Oh, I really did hit it. Reach it out. I hope you've got something to aim for at home. Reach it out. Good, now this time we hold the leg long. Hold it. We're gonna tap down. Up, so arm and leg reach on the diagonal, away from each other. It's a super powerful extension from little finger to little toe. Get longer, good, push against your band. You've got three, good job, two. Last one, we hold it at the top. Tiny pulses up and up. It's eight, seven, knees gonna drive it in, elbow pulls in four, in three, in two. You've got this team, it goes pull, with push. I like to push away any negative thoughts at this point in the workout because we only have those precious 30 minutes together. Let's make it count. Give everything you've got for four, push. Slice it, three, push. Hug it, two, yes. Last one, hold, four, three, two, and rest. Give it a tap. We will stretch at the end, I promise, but we gotta get on with those abs. So, we're in a round back position today. Bring the band around your feet, just like it was in our plank earlier. Make sure you're centered on your mat. And then here's how we're gonna get there. Slice your hands behind your thighs, lift your legs up. See if you can find a balance point just on that tipping point of the sit bones. And I'm gonna slide back, rolling under until we hit the bottom rib, no lower. So you are not on your shoulder blades. If you are, reset. We pull and hold. Now my feet are pulling slightly apart in order to retain that tension on the band. That is activating outer thigh, outer glute. Little curls up. This is intense. Beautiful work, team. Exhale. Good, four more here. We've got four, three. Abs tight, two. Now on one, hold behind your left leg. Shoot your right leg long. Start to pull in and in. Could you pulse that leg? Now, as you pull in, maybe you could do it with one hand off. Maybe you could do it with both arms off. Yeah. Eight, six, keep hollowing. Four, three, two, come to center. Push the other leg long, pulse it down. Curl a little higher if you've collapsed back. Maybe one arm reaches, maybe both. Little pulse, little pulse. You've got eight, seven to the crisscross, six. Yes, team, five, beautiful, four, Three, two, sweep the hands behind you, twist towards the incoming knee, come through center. Twist the other way, come through center. Twist, center, twist, center. I'm looking for armpit to knee. I'm looking for maintaining, maintaining even, <laughs> the tension on your band. Notice how much those knees wanna kind of fly around. Can you go push, 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 push. Good team. You've got this till the end. So this is the finish line. How are you gonna cross it? Could you scoop it deeper? Could you twist it more? Four, 10, nine, eight, then you're out. Seven, gorgeous, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Take the band off, oh, throw it away, and then take a couple of circles through those knees. We're gonna take a couple of spinal twists to finish out and open out the back body. So arms come out to a wide T-shape, knees go one way, nose goes the other. Exhale as you go. Come through center on an inhale, exhale, twist. I love the stretch just for opening out any tension you've built up in the mid back and lower back. Great job, guys. I'm sure you can feel how hard you've worked. Just honor that, congratulate yourself. Let's take right foot over left thigh and take a figure four stretch. So great for opening the hips. Think of, think of lengthening the tailbone, flexing the right foot to protect your knee and then drawing the whole shape deeper on an exhalation. Good. Give it a shake. Switch sides, so left foot over right knee. Drawing the hands behind the thigh is my preference for you guys. Some people prefer the hands on top of the shin, but it does compress the knee joint, so go gently. Good. And then gently rock on up 
take a breath. That music tells us our time together is over, but please do head down and like and subscribe to our channel so that I can continue making those workouts that help you feel amazing every day. Great job today. I'm so proud of your efforts. Thank you for letting me lead you through that. And I'll see you guys back on the mat here at Silver Linings very soon indeed.